Hey everybody, I'm Sean Daniels and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Like I said yesterday, today's video is going to be a little different. It's on a different pace than me talking about my vehicle. Today I'll be talking about motivation. It's going to be a pretty quick video, nothing too lengthy. Uh, I just want to talk about a few things as I love mentoring people, young, old, peers, whatever. It doesn't matter as much as I love taking in information because I don't know everything and it never hurts to have more wisdom. The thing I want to talk about today is doing things for yourself. When I say doing things for yourself, I'm not talking about getting a manicure, a pedicure, or treating yourself, you know, necessarily some Starbucks, you know, that unicorn frappuccino they got going on. I'm talking about making life decisions for yourself. Now, it's a little different, obviously, every situation is different. If you have a family, of course, you can't just make decisions just for yourself or, you know, depending on cultural aspects, as somebody pointed out to me, you can't just make decisions based on based for yourself because your culture may not may not approve that. It may not it may not work that way, your culture, which is fine. However, I'm speaking to people that can and will and want to make that choice and are on a path they're so lost on that they don't know what they're doing anymore. I'm talking about that student that's in college right now getting a biochem degree because their parents want them to go to med school when all they wanted to do was be an artist. I'm talking about those kids out there or men, grown men, grown women, it doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be kids, that are making decisions based on other people's wants and desires, people living vicariously through them, and them actually not living their own life. And I stress living your own life because you don't want to be 40, 50 years old doing things that, that you don't want to do. Waking up one day and realizing, man, wh where did my life go? Am I really happy with the things that I did? Am I really happy with the impact that I made on the world, whether it was little impact or a ginormous impact? That speaks to me on a different level. And it speaks to me because I was lost for a very, very long time. And at times I still do get lost. So I'm not perfect. However, you know, I've had many jobs. I went from the military and I went from the military to, to uh, emergency medical services. And I went from that to working in real estate. And I went from that to being a security contractor overseas in theater. Um, I came back, came to Tennessee, going to school full time. And it wasn't really until I started working with kids at the juvenile detention center here that I learned that I love to work with kids and I really want to help people. Now, you can look back at all my previous jobs and you'll realize that majority of them were based around helping other people. But I, I didn't see it yet. I was too blind to the fact that that's what I wanted to do, that I wanted to just simply help people. Going overseas, I thought I wanted to chase money, and that was the main reason I went overseas. And it's a great lucrative type of job if that's what you're into or if that's what you want to do in your life. But I went overseas, and I made some money, paid off debt, uh, you know, came back, was able to buy a few things that I wanted, which was great. But it made me realize that money isn't everything because I wasn't happy because I just simply had money. I wasn't happy because I simply just had things that I wanted. What makes me happy is going out and influencing people, helping people in whatever way that I possibly can, whether it's small, big, whether it's small to them, or big to them, small to me, it doesn't matter. That's what I like to do. And I put myself on that path by, by, um, by actually going out and trying different fields, trying different things that I may like or may not like. And I mean, I've done a lot of other jobs. I've worked in retail. I've worked um, in fast food. I've worked uh, detailing cars. I've worked in sales. I've worked in all kinds of different things. And it gave me uh, a basis of what I don't want to do and things that I do want to do. And when you do something for other people, you lose that ability. You stop doing things for you. You stop doing things that are no longer on your bucket list. You stop doing things that are no longer uh, in, in, in your likes, the things that you like to do, the things that you can see yourself doing. And you start doing things based upon what everybody else likes and what everybody wants. You start following the norms of whatever it is, of that person or your family or your culture, whatever the case may be, instead of chasing after what you want. And for me, that's oppression. You're oppressing yourself because only you're going to deal with those consequences. Only you're going to wake up one day and realize, where has my, where has my life gone? Your parents or your girlfriend or your boyfriend or your, you know whoever you're doing these things for, they're not going to wake up and feel, and feel that way anymore. You know, I worked, like I said, I worked at the juvenile detention center. I used to tell the kids this all the time. What happens when you're out here in the hood and you're trapping and you're doing all this crazy crap that you see on Instagram and music videos and you think it's cool because your boy's doing it, but your boy wises up and decides to get out of the hood? And you're left there doing the same crap you were doing. Not because necessarily that's what you wanted, but because you thought it was cool. It was the norm. So socially, it was acceptable to you to do these things and that's what you did. Which is cool if that's what you want to do. I'm not, I'm not going to stop you from doing what you want to do. I'm just trying to tell you, everybody, you guys, you women, you girls, um, <laughs> the things that some people haven't heard before. 
I'm trying to give you guys something, some sort of wisdom. The wisdom that I was luckily enough to have instilled in me growing up that I just didn't listen to. But that was my own fault. So I went on a, I went on a wild goose chase trying to find myself, trying to find where I want to be and figure out uh, the things I want to do in life and what impact I want to make, what impact I didn't want to make, you know, um, what I'd be interested in doing, what I wouldn't be interested in doing. And I went on a wild goose chase doing all that. But luckily, at 26 years old, I'm finally able to say, man, I found my purpose. I found what I want to do in my life. I found where it's at. And that's not to say I don't have hobbies and that I don't want to do things. You know, I mean, there's plenty of things that I do outside of, you know, work and, you know, dealing with kids and going to school. Sorry, I ran into some technological issues. But like I was saying, I found my purpose. I found who I want to be, where I want to be in life. And the question is, have you? And that's not, that's, not, that's not something to sit here and throw shade or whatever the case may be, but that's a serious question. Have you found your purpose? Or are you trying to find purpose in what someone else has, has set aside for you? Because that's not all your work. That's not all you have to go for. You can go for the things that you want, whether it's small or large, whether it's you just want to get in the gym, you want to lose weight, you can do that. Whether it's you want to build your car the way you know someone wants to build their car, you do that. If that's going back to school and getting another degree or getting your first degree, you do that. If that's getting your GED and your your, college, your, uh, your high school diploma, that's doing that. There's so many opportunities out there for you to do things that you don't have to sit there and settle on what somebody else wants for you. You are able to go out there and make your own choices, once again, depending on your culture, of what you want to do, how you're going to get there. That's what you need to focus on. That's what you need to do. Stop worrying about everybody else and what they want for you. Don't let people live vicariously through you. Success comes from you. Only you're gonna feel success. If you mess up, only you mess up. If you're successful, only you're successful. And that's not to say that you're not gonna share your success with other people, but it's still your success. It's yours. So really, that's all I gotta say. Do what you want to do. Do for you. Don't do for other people. Don't sit there and make decisions, life choices, major major choices for other people. Do for you. So at the end of the day, if you don't do for you, who's going to do for you? Who's going to be there for you more than you're going to be there for yourself? I mean, in all honesty, that's not to throw shade at family, things like that. My family is amazing. My family's have my back no matter what the heck I've done. But at the end of the day, I got to do for me. You know, that's one thing, you know, like, I've gone out, I've done all kinds of different things. My parents wanted me to stay in the military. They thought A, B, C, D through Z about the military. I need to stay in the military. Don't get out the military. Would it have helped if I stayed in the military financially, you know, uh, maybe just having just a steady job? Yeah, it would have helped, but it's not what I want to do. It's that simple. So I left it. I was done with it. I moved on. That's a choice that I made for myself. And that's something that they have to live with. And that they have lived with. And that's something that you have to come to terms with too, is that just because you make a decision for yourself, whether it's a ginormous decision or a small decision, people are gonna have to live with it because that's that's their, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? That is, that is their role in your life. They have to just deal with it. They don't, they don't, they don't dictate what you do. That's, that's, that's not what it is. You dictate what you do. So continue to dictate what you do. Continue to chase the things that you want to do. Continue to find the purpose in your life that, you, that you're that you searching for, that you want, or that you're not sure of. Continue to search for it. But at the end of the day, like I said, you don't want to be 50, 60, 70 years old waking up wondering where my life went. So start now. Start searching. That's all I got today. Thanks for watching the vlog. Um, I'll be posting a new video tomorrow. Haven't decided exactly where I'm going to go with that. Um, but new video to be posted tomorrow sometime around the same time as it is right now, which is about 9 o'clock. Uh, so that's all I got for you guys. I appreciate you watching the video. If you want to continue to follow me on my journey, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, please hit the like button if you like the video. If you didn't like it, please leave a comment below. I'd love to hear some feedback. Like I said, I'm still new at this. Um, so that's it. Appreciate it, y'all.